first, you got to trust in the power of God. Listen to what they said. Our God, whom we serve, is able. Well, he wouldn't be worth serving if he ain't able. Read Psalm 115. What good, verses 5 through 7, is it to have a God that got eyes but can't see? Ears that can't hear, hands that can't touch, feet that can't walk in, a mouth that can't utter anything to help you, encourage you, or direct you. The reason God is worthy to be served is because he's an able God. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's able to save completely, Hebrews 7, 25. He's able to keep you from falling. Jude 24, he's able to make all grace abound towards you. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8. But let me just lean on one verse. It's Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 and it declares that he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly. Wish I had some Bible readers in the house. Above all that we could ask. Or think, hallelujah, they declare that we are going to serve God no matter what because no matter what you do, our God is able to deliver us. How did they know God was able? Well, it wasn't because they looked at the circumstances and the, the circumstances had Able marked on it. Mm -mm. The, the circumstances had death marked on it. So, so they couldn't look ahead at the circumstances and find assurance that he was able. So what they had to do is they had to go back in God's past and pull his file and check his resume and remember what he already did. Somebody ought to hear me here. And, 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 and when they remembered his resume, the God that said, let there be, and something jumped out of nothing. The, the God that flooded the world and started all over again. Are y'all in here with me? This, this is the God that put a ram in the bush for Abraham. This is the God that spoke to Moses from a burning bush. This is the God that made manna fall from. They just checked his resume. And maybe I'm talking to somebody here. Y'all think I'm talking about Shadrach. I'm talking about you. In your pressure points, when your circumstances look overwhelming, you need to look back at what the Lord has already done. And while I'm here, let me be clear, I'm not just talking. You need to check his resume from biblical revelation. But you need to also check his resume in the file marked personal testimony. Because if all you got is this, your, your faith may not be as strong as it needs to be. Because you can't just quote the Bible. At some point, you got to walk it out for yourself so that the God of Scripture becomes more than a Sunday school story. He becomes your personal God, help, and strength. And you ain't just got to quote Daniel and Shadrach and Moses, but, but you know that not only the Old Testament and the New Testament, you got your own testament of what the Lord has done for you that nobody else. In a war-torn land, 